right, guys. Here's here's what we're working on. Let me just show you. Oh, planes. I see planes. Mm -hmm. Peterbilt. Mm -hmm. Cat. That's cool. That's going to be worth a few bucks. The next box. Planes. Yeah. Okay. But what, yeah, what is that? I don't know. Can you go back there and look and just see if you see any kind of leak from rain or something back there? Wow. Look at the detail on this. Yeah. Thing. Oh my gosh. That is so. Oh. That one's probably more money. That would be my guess. That's not like I just broke something. Uh oh, that's like uh, uh oh, we just made some money. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Oh, look at them all, you guys. What the heck? How many are in here? Uh oh, oh, guys, this could be good. Yesterday, I talked to someone who reached out to me who actually knew the previous owner of this locker and shared with me some of the personal information about him. And I just want to say, like, my mind is blown right now. All right, what's up locker nuts? We are getting ready to go out to that unit. And if you don't know what unit I'm talking about, oh, <laughs> you're in for a treat because if you haven't seen the last four episodes, you gotta go back and watch this locker. Watch it from the beginning if you can. I know some of the episodes are long. We've just been finding so much great stuff. It's amazing. The best locker I've ever bought, all right? By far, hands down, no comparison, but I'm starting to feel like this most likely will be the last best locker I ever buy. And that's bittersweet for that reason. You know, there's some bittersweetness to it. We're going to head over there in just a little bit, but I'll tell you this locker is amazing, not because only the amazing stuff we're finding and the amount of uh, financial gain that it means for my family and I, uh, because we are measuring the profit on this one to be at this point in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? We kind of, in the beginning, we're playing with the numbers saying, is it a million? Is it a hundred thousand? You know, and it's like great to dream and it's so exciting. But as I've dug in quite a bit now, I mean, it's still very early, but I have dug in enough to get Get a, a more realistic estimate and it's in the hundreds of thousands of dollars okay most likely uh i mean just in the last episode we brought home just two boxes and um a few well two totes and a few other boxes and we're looking at like twenty eight thousand dollars in merchandise it's incredible but also this locker has become amazing because of how many views it's getting not just here in America, but worldwide, and the kind of comments we're getting, and emails we're getting, and, and messages through Facebook from people who are really connecting emotionally, emotionally to this locker because of the train collection. It is an exceptional, exceptional collection. There are some real rare items in here, and people are responding to that, and I'm loving that. I'm loving that. But also, it, it's going beyond that at this point. There's some other things happening here, and I haven't shared everything with you guys because, um, Man, it's, I mean, I'm processing it and I will be sharing all this stuff with you guys as, as we go. Um, I want to make sure I do everything proper justice and do it, do it right. And, uh, but yesterday I talked to someone who reached out to me who actually knew the previous owner of this locker and shared with me some of the personal information about him. And I just want to say like my mind is blown right now. I am, um, just in awe really at what we have here. Not only do we have, uh, an amazing collection of trains, very rare trains, European trains, but we also have uh, picked up the collection from a truly exceptional man, amazing accomplishments in this man's life. And I've only learned a little bit more. There's going to be a follow-up call and I hope to learn much more. I'm in awe right now. All I can say is like, he passed away. If you guys missed that in the earlier episodes, he passed away. He left multiple storage units to his family and overwhelmed them apparently with, with uh, his collections. And this is one locker that the family knew was needed to be addressed and they had let it slip in the default and they were giving months of opportunity to come and get it. And I guess the decision was made to just let it go to auction because they just simply couldn't handle any more. They had already taken on so much and doesn't sound like they were equipped to um, move this kind of stuff. So the family let it, basically just simply let it go. The story that this man must have had to tell is, uh, is humbling me, really, quite frankly. It's humbling me that I, like who am I, to have inherited basically his collection, this small fortune in trains. Part of his story really is what it is, what, what the impact's hitting me right now. This is part of his story, and he was not just some common person. Sounds like he was pretty exceptional. And 
All I want to say is I, I am going slow on this locker. I'm finding out as much as I can, and I'm going to be sharing a lot more with you guys in the upcoming episodes. But above all, I want to make sure that I do this story justice and I show him uh, proper respect at every opportunity. All right. So, so anyways, guys, sorry to get a little emo with you guys before we even get into the video. You're probably even like, just get to the unboxing week. This is an important one. I am just, again, just so blessed to have this opportunity. This is his passion and his love and his joy. And we're going to be capturing it uh, in this in this journey on YouTube for you guys. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's get over there. We'll be there soon. And we're going to start some digging. All right, locker nuts. You ready? It's locker time. We don't need to talk about it. We're going to get right in it. Let's do it. Jana's with me today. I just love spending time with you. There it is. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm ready. We're just gonna pull a few things out. This is our garbage cans and stuff like that. Let's pull that out so we can start. The object today, or I should say the strategy today, is to clear out these aisles. I wanna get as much stuff, I wanna work on the aisles first so that we can start getting into this and have more access to it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> All right, guys, here's here's what we're working on. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the aisles, okay? This is the aisles here. This is what we've got to work with. At least it's sunny today. Yeah. It's really overcast this morning. The sun helps light this up in here because uh, this is a deep one. It's 30 feet deep, and the light bulb up here is out, and it's also very tall, so we can't really get up there too easy to switch that light bulb. Yeah, let's get. We're gonna be working on getting these aisles clear so that we can walk back here. A, a couple episodes ago, I climbed back there, but let's uh, let's get some stuff out of here. Okay, Jano's grab this stuff here. Let's start with this. And oh, planes! I see planes. Nice. We I think have a little bit of this stuff already. M series, Boeing, Prowler. $32 new. Actually, I think those are euros or something. Uh, uh, model number 7105 and 6009. We're lucky. Martin, that's good. Great. These are great. These are like the little die-cast cars, but these are planes. Yeah, people like that. Fun, fun, fun. And this is Gemini. Ooh. A UPS. That's funny. UPS Airbus. Oh, magnets. No, there's, there's snaps. 200. Oh, look at that. Wow. Mm. Nice. What beautiful packaging. Yeah. That's some pretty cool. Yeah, it looks expensive. We'll flash on the screen for you guys to know how much these are worth. We'll do a little research and put on the screen. Right now we don't know, but I would say... Gemini Jets? 100 bucks, probably, right there. Yeah. Maybe more, maybe less. All right, this has a $50 price tag on it. It's the Big Boeing User's Guide. Oh, huh. shrink wrap, brand new. Yeah. FMC. That's Might right. be some collectability there. Nice. Some more M series. Sent three six hundred and thirty-five dollars on this. <laughs> well, starting. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so starting. Sorry. Big Boeing flight management computer guide was fifty bucks, but these are Euros, so Yeah, so it's I don't not know what that translates to, but that's that's the book. Oh, look at this. See oh how? nice. Helicopter. And then these are a cockpit set. Oh. Oh, look at 70 euros for this, 70 euros when it was new. Oh, it's right there, 69.95. Not too expensive, but who knows what the value is today. Where do you want me to put this? Um, maybe we'll put this in the car, okay? okay. This is a uh, little computer stuff, CompUSA. That's funny, huh? Three and a half inch aluminum external enclosure. So that's just a little, I think, external bay to put your drive into. Because uh, I don't see any drive specs on here. It's probably not a drive. And then right here, Logitech Playlink. Wireless online access for your PS2, Xbox, PC, or Mac. Yeah, I saw that too. Outdated tech, but maybe there's a collector market for it. I don't know. That one's still sealed. Okay. All right, looks like all cables and such. RF adapter, Radio Shack, it's just stereo cable. It's nothing. This is uh, looking like flea market stuff, but of course we'll go through it a little bit closer. Oh, this is something for Xbox 360. Compatible. Oh, nice. Actually, it's got three cables 
This is nice, and I actually have one of these hooked to my computer, uh, TV in the garage, so I could test systems. So we'll go through this a little bit better, but it's not looking like anything, nothing too impressive. That's most likely going to go to the flea market. This is kind of interesting right here. Piece. So is that a game piece or? Yeah, it looks like it might be a console or something. I don't yeah, know. Watch the it's like an old Xbox. Yeah, this stuff needs to get transferred. This is an original Xbox right here. I thought it looked cool. That's yeah. kind of neat. Pretty neat, but why is there tape over it? Maybe to protect it? I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, it's electrical maybe. tape, but it's great. maybe this is something collectible. That green it's is stupid. definitely Whoa. more uncommon. 2004. Hmm. Yeah, that is neat. Potential. It has potential. Podcast. Oh, and then we got a PS2 right here. Wow. PS2, yeah, we got some video games right That's on. That's cool, maybe we'll find some video games. Uh, is this a controller? Is this um, so this got a, something, it's a HDD, is that hard disk drive right here? Mm -hmm. Never seen this little thing, uh, never found one with that attached anyways. So that's kind of cool. Maybe that's a little extra value on that. I found one. Xbox controller. Wow, I don't know what's in here. This kind of looks interesting. Everything in here is interesting. Well, there's this? a little switcher and look at for all your games. Xbox, PS2, GameCube. This is a camera. Nice shape. Wow, look at the condition. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Yeah, it might be worth a little bit. Doesn't have film in it. Extension cord. Oh, this is PS2 also, one of the slim ones. Jeez. This one's probably worth more than the other one. Oh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, that's a tiny little... It's just a router. <laughs> router. It's like, like a switcher, I think. Oh, here's another uh, controller for yeah. the Xbox. That's nice. Very nice. Yeah. It's an Xbox oh, 360 controller. Is that a PlayStation? Yeah, a PlayStation. Is that Logic Tech. Hmm. Sony, so this must go to the... Um, PS2. PS2. Yeah. Good. We want that, and then we just need to find the Xbox for it. Oh looks like we got a lot of cables in here, so. Yeah. This is a nice cable. Xbox. This is cool. Is yeah. this monster cable? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Wait, no. Is this monster? That's the. Oh, it is that. Cool. That's a good, nice one. Oh, I want to get in here, but. Grab this one. We are prioritizing the aisles. Yeah, bummer. <laughs> Well, that makes that easy Christmas though. Christmas tree, is it? Yeah, yeah. it's all tree. All right, well, let's just I'll that. go to the market. Hey, that helps us get the friends. All right. Mmm, Christmas. <laughs> well, this is right behind the Christmas tree, so it's not all that surprising. No. That's cool. Right? I see Lennox right there, so this is Amazing. getting a little bit better right now. It's just a little candle, it's cool. Flea market. Let's see what we got from Lennox. Yeah. Okay. Just a candle holder? I think we've seen those before. Yeah. Or something similar. Very pretty. That's what do you think, auction? Yeah, absolutely. I'll make our live auction. Alright, Genesis, that made the cut, guys. Besides the video games, that's our first piece we're putting aside, and that will probably make our live auctions, which we do where, Jana? Monday nights on our YouTube channel. That's the win. YouTube's the where. And I'm that. Is it on Facebook? Uh, no. No, it's only on YouTube, so if you're not on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you head over and shiggity check us out. That's cute. A little stained glass? It's not, no. Okay, plastic. Oh. And a beautiful candle, and then a couple other little candle holders. Candle holders and candles. Yeah, mostly all candles. Yeah. Match and set. Yeah, they do. Let's see what else we got in here. Santa's workshop. Santa's workshop. How cool! Up oh, this is nice and empty. Okay. All right. Well, there all goes right. that box. This is yeah. a flea market box, yeah. With this one up. This one's better. This one's better. Uh, 
motherboard. motherboard, huh? This is for something to do with gaming. I think this guy was a massive gamer is what I think. Asus. I don't know if it's in there. We'll definitely have to this research light. that. This is probably just a box, oh, this huh? this is a box. That's a box? Yeah. Yep. Box. box. Huh? It's got some rattle in it. Nope, just some brackets. Internal cable. This is all recycle right here. Okay. Yeah, it's just the cable. Like we said. Okay, that can get recycled. Should we take the cable out? If you want to, you can throw it in the flea market box. Okay. That's empty. Dang it. I have a feeling this was probably some money back in the day. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's nice cables. Alright, three more. One more stack after this. Okay. This one actually I peeked in when I was climbing back there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so we got a couple planes here. Not big money. 42 bucks or 42 euros and 50 euros. This is um, like Alaska the other and Thai. But uh, American Airlines. Yeah, Gemini 200. I think it's the exact same. Well, wow, it's a smaller scale. It's cool. Maybe it's a smaller plane. There's a little base for it too. It looks nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, this is good stuff. Very nice. All right. Then we have this Northwest Limited Edition McDonald Douglas. Uh, 109. 110. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. That's pretty. Yeah. Boy, these are nice. Trains and planes. Ooh, I and see cars. some really cool stuff in here. Yeah, I liked the cool stuff. Oh. Peterbilt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. That's gonna be worth a few bucks, probably at least fifty bucks. Okay. That's my guess. Maybe, maybe thirty. There's a few. Oh yes, now we're talking. So a little different. different. Yeah. Oh, red, yellow, and white. One of each, you bought. And black. Sweet. I don't see any price tag anywhere. Oh, these are old Greyhound diecast bus. So that's cool. There's one, two. Mm, these are heavy right here. Metal armor. Scale one to a hundred. Look at how many there are. Four. He likes a lot of the several of whatever he bought. Oh, this one's cool too. Look at that one. That one's neat. Skyhawk. Two two three five two two three. This one is a Luftwaffe uh, World War Two Ace. But these are all Euro. Five three zero oh, eight. Prices, so I. It's all European stuff. Mm -hmm. All European manufacturers too. Mm -hmm. Oh neat. <laughs> so cool. Those are all the Greyhounds. There's four of them. And then if you want to look through these, are little army men in here. Yeah, we found a bunch of these already, and these are these are worth some money, especially the military. Yeah. Stuff. This one's torn a little bit. There's a diecast plane wrapped up. There's another one there. That, oh, that's the base. I bet it's something he ordered, yeah, used. Same. It's like he ordered stuff and then got it, opened it, and just put it in these totes. This one's cool. Yeah, the stuff's missing. It's loose. It's just loose, I think, yeah. Well, for guys who make models and stuff, probably repairing that stuff not out of the realm of possibility. This one's really cool. This does fit around in there, too. Maybe in sh shipping it got jostled around and knocked stuff loose. And then here's one. It's a British Airways. That one's cool. Oh, this is the tie. This is like 60 bucks or, so, or 60 euros, 50 euros. And so there's British, there's Thai, it's like all the different airlines, right? Yeah, very cool. Th what's this one? This for going up the planes. Oh yeah, the little ramps. Oh, these are good. We've ha we have a couple of those already. They're end scale. Oh, yeah, this right here. Yeah. Look at the cockpit lids off of it. Four. This is so cool. Oh, look at this. It's tiny. Look how tiny these are. Yeah, I think those are all end scale. The next box. It is dusted. Well, that's another one just like the other one. Planes. U.S. Airways. You know the Gemini 200. Herpa. Oh, PSA. That's kind of cool, huh? Neat. What's this one here? This big one. That's cool. Sky Guardians. Wow. Mm. Sky Marks. Neat. Airbus right here. Gemini Jets. Cool. Wow, look at that. Nice. There's a ton of them. Oh yeah. These we've had already, this bush. 
I don't remember if we've listed them. I think they're like 30 bucks each. They might be 50 bucks each. I don't think we've seen these Herpa planes before. Maybe we have. These are like the other ones we found today already. Mm -hmm. And then this one, Gulliver. M series. Wow. 200, the Gulliver. That's different. Yeah, just look at how many there are. Uh, that looks like it's all small planes all the way down to the bottom. And then that keepsake ornament. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it's funny. This is, uh, again, in euros, $33.95. This one Tomcat is 90 euros, but 29 to 34 euros for each of these. It's four of one, two of another, four of another. There's some really exciting boxes in the back. <laughs> It's hard not to grab those, you know. Woo! Oh, All right. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Oh, turntable. That is really cool. Yeah, it's neat. Modern 130 foot. So this is Cornerstone. We've had that. It's Walther's Cornerstone series. 933-2829. This is a very large piece. I have a feeling this is going to be some decent money on this. I'm thinking a couple hundred bucks at least. Depends on how rare it is. It could be a thousand bucks. Uh, we can work down this way or we can finish this down. Right, let's work down here. Though. Sure. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a few boxes here that have not been opened yet. Brand new. Uh, bought from Aviation Mega Store. All three of them. Cool. Let's open it. He never even opened them. Oh. More, more of the little herpa. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. McDonnell Douglas DC 1030. How much was this guy? 110 in euros. When it was bought. Pretty cool. Okay, we're not going to open that right now. Um, but these guys are cool too. And Probably 20 bucks each. 25 euros new, but all of them exactly the same. There's six of the kind. No, these are different. They are different. Okay, here's a few more electronics here. D-Link, again, I think this is all outdated stuff, but it is brand new shrink wrap. So there might be, I don't know, there might be a market for it. It's brand new, so don't need to worry about testing it, but I don't know if there's a market for it. Oh, this one has been opened right here. Okay, this is not unopened. Nice. Okay. Air Cal and a little die cast plane. And it looks like we got four of them. How funny. This box is unopened though. Models. Itchy bone. Hmm. Oh, mm. cool. Ooh, it's a Lockheed Martin right there. So pretty. Yeah, Lockheed Blackbird. Yeah. Blackboard, isn't that the one we had some stuff on it before in a different locker? Yeah. Is that the exact same thing? It is. It's so cool that we live in the middle of all this stuff. Like, it's kind of neat. A little miniature of one in 400 scale. Great. Lufthansa? Lufthansa? Little Herpa models now. Great. Got two of those. There's something different. Solar Impulse. It's kind of different looking. Like it's like a glider with the solar panels Bio on it. Vega? Neat. And everything on here wasn't, none of that was too much money, just up to 37 euros. Oh, but, <laughs> gotta look all up through everything. Check this out. Got a few of these, these little metal uh, pieces. We found these before lots of times. Look at that, 27 euros just for that little packet right there. 22 euros, 30 euros, yeah, that's good. All right, these are pretty dusty. Yeah. They didn't have a lid on it, so let's see what we got. Oh, we got some models here. What's that? Okay, this one's been opened and slid back together. No telling if that's complete or not, but it's a battleship. Oh, it's a submarine. Oh, whoa. Look at this. It's like that's in Japanese cool. or something. Mini hobby models. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, but what, yeah, what is that? I don't know. It looks clear. I'm hoping it's oil because oil would stay. If it's not oil, if it's something else, then it's fresh. So can you go back there and look and just see if you see any kind of leak from rain or something back there? Okay, I'm going in guys, I'm going in. No. 
That's, I'm pretty sure that's oil. I don't really smell anything. It's not rat pee if that's what you're talking about, but um, I'm worried it's rainwater because it has been raining. There's no other rain anywhere, water anywhere. I'm looking at the ceiling and see if I see any beading up here. I don't see anything. I think it's oil. So where would the oil be coming from? It's on the bottom. It's on the bottom, but this, let's see. Let's see what we got. German U-boat by Revel, okay. Okay, there's another German U-boat. This appears to be a box of submarine models. And that's fantastic. 21U2540, another Revel. Oh, 5078, that's the number. Another one. Oh, nice, this is that one, the first one. Uh, maybe this has been open, maybe it hasn't. This is a cool paddle steamer. Wow, oh, another Revel. The Revels haven't been as high a value, but we did find some Revels that were worth like 60 bucks. This one's bigger, it might be more. 5232. Two. German sub. Yeah, I like that. Okay, this is this is neat because it's a show-off model, cutaway display. So that U-boat uh, has a cutaway. Very cool. But it's open, which isn't so cool. Oh, this is interesting. This is funny, this is one on eBay. Oh, neat. U-boat captain. What'd you say he won it on eBay? Yeah, that piece of paper. Maybe in the office. Uh-huh. Neat. That one's cool. That's the first one we found like that. Yeah. Neat, neat stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's the sheer volume is so crazy. We've much. had this one a couple times now. Oh, good. This is neat. It's kind of funny how he wanted more than one of each. That is cool. A lot of Revels in here. Oh, it's a search and rescue. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Where's the oil coming from there? I have no idea. Maybe I thought something it. was leaking out of this onto there. Maybe you just had something sitting on it that had it. Okay, let's see what's in this next box. Yep. Christmas tree. All right. That makes that easy. Thank you. And yeah, have a nice day. It is day. easy, isn't it? Okay. Now we're going to move that back out. The right time of year for both. See already. Oh, can you? Yeah. It's a Christmas tree. Dang it. All right. <laughs> oh, I like Christmas stuff. All right. Well, like I was, stuff. our average, our like, you know, our potential pro profit on this one's going down with every big, huge bin we find with Christmas trees. Right? I was definitely hoping for all models, but uh, there is the game. Uh, are we sure there's nothing else in here though? Dig around a little. Oh man, there's tons of extension cords in here. Tons of stuff. This is all extension cords and lights. So Jenna's got to leave. She has something else pressing. So do you want to pick a box to go through, Jenna? Yes. Um. Okay. I'm going. We got a lot of these. So I'm a little. I love fire and rescue stuff. So I kind of want to see if this really is a fire truck. Right. I see one more similar to this, and if this is what I think it is, I want to open one more. Okay, one. so this is a clear plexiglass uh, box. Carefully. Wow, that's a quite a structure, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Let's peek on this side. All right. That's kind of exciting. It's like opening presents. No, yeah, it's just a display. Kind of weird. Okay. Okay, so this is acrylic cover rear mount ladder truck. Uh, so this is the cover for the rear mount ladder truck, not I the rear mount. I want to find that. I want to find that. I see a lot of uh, different firefighting things. And here, and this one feels like it has some weight to it. So, right, you want to help me get this one? Oh, there we go. All right, it has a little book with it. Code 3 Collectibles, New York Fire Department. Super exciting. Uh, is it die cast? Oh wow. It certainly is. That is sweet. Wow, look at the detail on this. Yeah. Thing. Oh my gosh, that is so It's beautiful. not super heavy. It's got plastic. It's all and, metal. Yeah, this metal, but this is also partially plastic. It's not super heavy. But it is it's awfully detailed. It's beautiful. It's super cool. This is really cool. Don't you think? It is. That's awesome. I love it. 
it's kind of different. Oh, look at it. the flag. And then it looks like we have more of this kind of stuff. And it's kind of exciting because I see quite a few firehouse and fire wow. squad. Hmm. So I'm kind of excited to see what's in there. I'm gonna head out. Okay, all right. Jenna's headed out, so now I get to clean up our mess. Doing some other work, and um, you're gonna go through some more boxes, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Can't wait to hear when I get home. What you got? All right. Pretty cool piece here. Pretty cool piece, and I think I think there's a good chance that this goes with that. So here, 12,990. Oh, there's a packing slip with it. Let's take a look at that. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, he did buy an acrylic cover for this. The acrylic cover is 35, and the uh, truck was 250. That was back in 2007. So we'll see how the collectible markets have treated these uh, types of pieces, see if they've gone up or down. Pretty interesting. I see another piece right here. It says Code 3 on it. Okay, and didn't Gianna say she saw, oh, yep, she saw some other ones. Code 3, Code 3. Oh, Code 3, that's what we saw up here too. Very nice, Code 3. Got a lot of fire truck stuff, and that's, I think that's going to be really good. All right, guys, now that Gianna's gone, um, I took a little bit of time to load up the van and just kind of tidy up a little bit because uh, she had limited time, so. But I like, to stay, I like to stay organized. I like to keep it clean. I like to keep my workspace clean. So, um, here we go. We, we definitely made some progress because we got this aisle cleared. Uh, it took a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and I'm using that turn loosely. Uh, this one, maybe we'll wait on that. Let's continue to work right here, uh, there, because there's quite a bit of stuff in here, and I would like to get that clear. I feel good that we got that aisle, but I still feel kind of fragmented, because we still haven't finished this, we haven't finished that. This we went through last time, and then of course we've got all this too. This is all garbage right here, starting to stack up boxes and such. A little bit of flea market stuff, but this is also, yeah... I'm really curious about what's in here, right? Curious about that. These I think are for bike tires. I've seen lots of comments about that. This is some sort of very expensive bike tire. I don't see the bike tires, but got the covers for the bike tires. But where should we start now? Where should we go now? What should we do next? Yeah, let's just grab right here. Let's start pulling this stuff out. Back to our cleaning and uh, dusting, All right? Wow, 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 a lot of dust. Okay, did we look at these yet? I don't remember, I don't think so. This Australian, oh, these are all a little bit different. I think this looks like one of the ones we looked at already. Packaging looks very similar, nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we saw this uh, very similar style right here. That's a nice plane, very nice. Looks mint too, I don't think that was ever out of the packaging. It takes a long time to get these out, man. All right, that was uh, probably didn't seem too long in editing, but that actually takes a really long time to get it all out, being gentle and stuff with it. Okay, so we're not gonna open that one. Let's see what this one is. Purpa Wings Premium Series. Of course, we always like when it says premium. 0851, looks kind of fancy. Nice, Delta Airlines. Oh, look, it's got a little tiny pilot right there. This is N scale, I think. Just judging on that dude. Very nice. Very nice. And let's hope that means very expensive. I think it's going to. Mm, mm, mm. Nice. Mm. Next. Oh, check this out. The fire and cop shop. Cop shop. Four dollars fifty cents each. Oh, crown Ford Crown Victoria police with light bar. Uh oh. I think this might be like those little ones we sold, that thousand dollar sale. No, maybe not. I might be getting ahead of, oh, it is. Uh-oh, this is, and I say uh-oh, but that's a good uh-oh. Okay, that's not a bad uh-oh. That's not like, I just broke something, uh-oh. That's like, uh-oh, we just made some money. Cha-ching, 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 oh, yes. So, if you guys saw the second episode in this series, we found a box of these. It was very similar to this. Uh, actually, it was very, very similar because it was a priority mail box. It had a bunch of styrofoam in it. And there's all these little cars, which I was not familiar with before, uh, called Model Power. And, uh, yeah, this is exactly the same one, the Ford Crown Victoria. Here's a black Ford Crown Victoria. And the police Ford Crown Victoria. So, this is ex exactly like what we had. Exactly. I forget how many that were but there's basically enough to make an, a 
thousand over a thousand dollar sale so this box has it looks like 30 of them at 450 each i sold them for 18 bucks each and we sold enough to sell over a thousand dollars to one guy i listed this car right here for 18 bucks and sold them overnight so this time around I, what i might do is put them up in like an auction i might put all these up in an auction i've got a few more than model powers at home uh, so maybe we'll add those to it do a big lot of these put up for auction and see what it gets hopefully we can get more than 18 bucks but even at 18 bucks there's another 30 that's 540 bucks right here that's easy money okay there's a couple more models right here let's get those out just because i've got a nice stack of models going in the car there So, so far we've been selling most of these Revel models in our live auctions and that's what we were talking about earlier. We do a live auction on YouTube. I'm not sure if we'll do these on there or if we'll put these on our eBay store. It seems like they've been selling kind of cheap in the auctions. I thought they'd make great Christmas presents and that's, that's why I put them up in the auction. I thought that'd make our auction buyers happy to have some good Christmas present lots. We sell like three or four models at a time. We'll either do them live auction or eBay store. Our eBay store, just so you guys know, is called Gato Deal. It's not called Locker Nuts, it's called Gato Deal. And, oh man, that is a nice one, isn't it? Four of these. That's an easy list on eBay, that's for sure. 27 euros, brand new. Yeah, let's grab this box right here. Yeah, so the eBay store is called Gato Deal. That was the name of my store before. Actually, I had a YouTube channel. And a little fun fact, that was the name of my YouTube channel before I changed it to Locker Nuts. So we always called the episode Locker Nuts, but then we changed the full channel name over that after a few videos. Not very many uh, videos went out under that brand, but yeah, this is nice. A little bush. It's all miniatures. These little cars are here. That's neat. A little trailer. Super cool. This one's Atlas. The neat thing about a lot of these little bush cars is that the like lights light up. I don't know about this one. Not this one probably. A lot of them have little wires that go out and you can build it into your railroad uh, set. Maybe this one does. Uh, I don't see the wire. It'll say it, I think, that it lights up. $11 brand new right here, but uh, yeah, they'll light up so that the headlights actually light up. I just think that would be so cool. Oh, look at this, little tiny LEDs. You could probably put them in the cars if you wanted to, but there's a Roco Mini Tank, so it looks like he's upside down, but little Humvee, that's neat. Anything military, super, super good sales. A couple buses, here's a little fire truck, also emergency vehicles, good sellers. This uh, Bowley, those are okay, those are all right. We got, we got a lot of stuff in here. All this little stuff really adds up. There's a Kilbury, probably a little set there. It's not, not big money. Little bicycles. Collectively, this winds up being big money. Individually, not big money. This is probably like a bunch of $8 bills that we're looking at right here. Maybe a few 10s and 20s mixed in, but ooh. There's a model power right there. Now that's a Shelby Cobra. To me, I think that's a lot sexier than a Ford Crown Victoria, but that's just me. Surprisingly, these don't count for very high. Not for super high. There's another model power. Dodge Viper again. Yes, much sexier than a Crown Victoria. <laughs> no offense to you Ford Crown Victoria lovers. Man, I'm bringing this stuff home and it's like, I know my garage is going to start getting super duper full. I'm cleaning this out faster than I'm listing, so, which means I'm falling behind. What do we got here? There's a few things in here. Oh, more than a few. Oh, <laughs> each of these boxes has five of these little guys maybe more of these the little planes we've already found some so yeah that's fantastic really 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 fantastic the box got super crushed unfortunately stuff is just not being packed the way it could you know could have been better could have been better but that's a good find right here I'm, again i'm saying like i don't know i'll show you guys on the screen what i find on these they're probably all about the same price and looks like we do have a bunch of duplicates but we also have some different stuff probably all very similar in price i'm saying mm, probably 15 20 bucks each hopefully better oh it's starting to get dark in here sun's getting low getting shorter days now that we're in fall what do we got here okay look at these precers model what is this is it just the runway? Are these just panels for the runway? Where is that plane in there? I can't figure that out. We'll look it up. It's art number 18325. And then we got some of these. Little baggage carts for the planes. Nice. Some little wood pieces here. Can't tell if that was open though. It almost looks like it's partially used. Very hard to say. Very cool here. N-scale. 50 bucks new. Ooh, Corgi. Yeah, Vietnam Phantom Fighter, US Navy. Dang. 
That's cool. Ooh, another corgi. Ooh, a few corgis. Yes. Some little flood lamps, huh? Probably used for a little airport setting. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Yeah, we got lots of corgis. Here's another one of those Vietnam fighter jets. Got a couple of these. A junker from France. Yay. Another one right here. There's more of this Kibri stuff here. More little baggage carts. Highway overpass beams, so cool. The Faller's a good brand. Finding good value in the Faller. Oh, and then here's another Corgi fighting machine helicopter. We found one of those and sold one of those already. All right, this is more good stuff, guys. And uh, value-wise on these, those Corgis, ah, sometimes those Corgis can be worth 50 bucks, but mostly, I think, in 20 to $30 range. And that's probably what a lot of this stuff is. It's a good box. Okay, next box. Next box, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is good. These Century Wings. I think we found one of these before, didn't we? $50 Euros. Okay, yes, we did find one of these. And it was, I think, 100 bucks. So maybe they've gone up in value. Looks like the glue's come off a little bit on this. Yeah, I think the glue, the adhesive came off there. That is not the end of the world. Wow, look at that. Hopefully that's coming up in the camera, getting a little bit of sunlight interfering here. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Moonlighters, the intruder. This one says Top Gun on it. Da -da -da. Ooh, okay, this one's a little different. No, it's not. It's exactly the same. I mean, same type of box. I'm going about it the wrong way. Bear with me, guys. No one said that I was. Uh, this is an intelligent channel. We do some stupid stuff on this channel. Usually not on purpose. Okay, that one is actually very cool too. And is that the same one? That is the same. That is the same one. Same, same, same. Okay. See what I mean? See what I mean? Another one. Black Panthers. Wait, are these different? These are Moonlighters. This is a Black Panther. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, very similar. Very similar. Very similar. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. I could swear that these were like a hundred bucks or more. Well, I'll put it on the screen so you guys know what, what it is, what the value is. There's another Black Panther. Another Moonlighter. And another Moonlighter. Okay. And we do have an invoice here. 50 bucks each. Okay, that was the sticker price on it. 50 50. And we got some other stuff here too. Uh, nothing nothing super high value, but uh, <laughs> it is all super high cool, right? That's high cool. Is that a word? High cool? If it is a word, it definitely applies to this box. That's some high cool stuff. Okay. Oh, it's really hard to see in here, but there's a monitor right here. That kind of sucks. Yeah, let's get this box out. Let's do it. Let's see. So I'll share with you guys one thing I'd learned about the owner. And I think this is really interesting. This entire collection, this is a personal collection. I know I've seen a lot of comments from people speculating if this was a hobby store that was perhaps closed down. It is not. This is someone's personal private collection. I don't know what that is, but here's some more little miniatures. These woodland scenics. Uh, those are, they're a decent value, anywhere from 8 to 30 bucks. That's what we found so far, 8 to 30 bucks. Um, but yeah, this is all his personal collection, if you can believe that. This is not meant for resale. Oh, what is this? Do you see that? This is some sort of huge ship right here. So this gentleman that owned this locker, this was all meant for just personal collecting. But he did have a vision of what he wanted to do. He wanted to build a uh, very large scene or, or um, I, I mean, almost more like a museum. He wanted to build, I'm be very gentle with this. So apparently there's one over in Europe. There's like this, the world's largest um, railway display, a model train display, I should say. And um, I know some, some viewers have commented about that. So Thing that I should contact them see if they want to buy some of this stuff because these are European trains that we're finding for the most part and this is over in Europe um, they display I guess a lot of these same uh, brands so they use them in their displays oh, okay it's not as big as I thought it was actually it's a very large box for not that large of a ship but I see a loose part in there too which kind of stinks but uh, it looks like it broke off right here again model guys that two, two model guys that is not a big deal right they can they do that that's what they do they build these things they can they can fix it especially when it's just a little bit of glue okay that's pretty cool you can tell it's been hand painted 
So it's an assembled model. There is a market for that too. Collector market, I mean. So anyways, this gentleman was going to display all these pieces. His vision was to recreate a large display in, in the Bay Area here in California, uh, USA, right? So he wanted to bring that experience to this area of the world. But obviously he didn't uh, see that dream come to reality. I have a feeling he had a lot of big visions and a lot of big plans. He seemed like he was very accomplished, a really amazing person. So he probably had a lot of irons in the fire, if you know what I mean. And uh, this is one that never saw the light of day, but apparently one that he was very, very, very passionate about. Nice development to the story there. This is not retail. This is not a store. This is not a business. This is a personal collection. And this is mind-blowing, really. Okay, we've got a couple more pieces out of that aisle, the front of the aisle there. Another one of these Gemini 200s. Alaska Airlines, I think we already found an Alaska Airlines. So here's another one. And I'll we'll have to look that up. Well, you guys will know. I'm in the dark here. <laughs> you guys, you guys are seeing it as it goes. Okay, here's a big box and it says Revel on it. So I might guess the Revel model. And wow, I was right. Oh, German submarine. So we got another submarine, Wolf Pack. And this is 05015. Oh, this is a big one. Look at that, we got the box of shipping in too if we sell it. Hmm, that is hecka cool. All right, that might be the Revel that impresses me. Like the other ones, like I said, have been not super high value, like maybe 30 to 60 bucks. This one might be a little bit higher value. And of course, it's brand new. Brand spanking new. Yes. Okay, let's, let's go. Oh man, that's actually empty. It's just got the TV on top. <laughs> Okay, a little symphonic with the missing uh, volume button. <laughs> okay, and that's empty. That's a kind of a letdown. And the TV will just go to e-cycle. We'll just recycle that. Uh, we'll just have to put it aside for a while till we have a trip ready for that. Oh, I see something up here. See these Marklins? There's four Marklin boxes right there. You know, I think I'm going to get those down, even though I know we're working over there. Yeah, all right, let's get these home. Jana was saying early on, oh, I see something I like, a Nordstrom box. There's the Nordstrom box. I think it's empty. But these, um, yeah, the reason why I want to get that home, because we already listed, I think, one or two of these. Boxes were damaged. They were actually in pretty poor shape. These are not perfect. You can see a little bit of waviness to them. Uh, that's just from exposure and time. But in the dust, wow. But dust can be cleaned off easy. These will get a second cleaning when I get home too, of course, before we list it. But anyways, the ones with the boxes, that they were actually pretty damaged. Like, they had water damage to them. Staining everything. I listed those for 150 bucks. They haven't sold yet, all right? But these with the little Porsches, this is actually some really good, really good finds right here. I'm thinking these are going to be 200 bucks each. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. Do you see that? Oh, it's so fun though. It's kind of fun. That's, you just, mm, yeah, you don't see that very often. And this is actually a really good find. Uh, do you know why? Because that's what's up there. If I can get a ladder up there, that's what I'm going to need to uh, replace that light bulb up there. Okay. <laughs> a lot of dust flying around here, but uh, okay, there it is. Yeah, it's much better with the light on, and plus the iPhone is better in these low light areas. The GoPro does not thrive there. But yeah, here we go. We got all that out okay and uh now i think we'll start tackling this i don't know uh, up here jen and i took those boxes those franklin mint boxes out last time brought them home here you see a lot more franklin mint boxes i'm going to assume it's probably more the same lots of planes there's more planes right there what do, what do we got here we got, i got a markland right here that's a good this a lot looks like a lot of miscellaneous see planes here see the planes right there yeah you 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 this, everything is kind of like tossed around though. Hmm. All right. I'm not complaining. I'm just noticing. Yeah, that's all money right here too. And there's more of that Code 3 stuff. So that other Code 3, I looked up the the truck. It sells for anywhere from 250 to 450 So those Code 3s are very, very good finds. Very good finds. Look at the size of the Code 3 box right there. It's really, that's a big box. Wow. If each one of these boxes is 250 to 450 that's some money. That's some money, money, Mo more code threes. <laughs> All right. 
Am I cheating right now, guys? Am I cheating? I'm skipping back here. We've already peaked back here, but I just, I can't help myself. I just, I want to keep looking. I want to keep looking. This box down here is getting a little smashified. Do you see that? Which to me says that these two are heavy. And this one says planes, fighters, one one hundredth. That's the scales. All right, let me grab the, let me grab this top stuff and then we'll start working our way down this this stack right here. Okay, here we've got more of these Lufthansa cargo planes. Um, three more boxes, and I'm gonna add it here because these are all very similar. I don't know if they're all the exact same, but they're very similar. I think the top four might be the same. The bottom one's different. That makes for an easy list on eBay, but still good good stuff. I'm hoping good value too. Okay. All right, there's another awesome, awesome looking fighter jet right there. See it? Wow. And I knew it would be, but I just can't help myself. Gotta open it. Gotta open it. The number B11B242 on that. And yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what this one is. Woohoo! Ooh, that one's pretty. That one's probably more money. That would be my guess. So it looks awesome. F-14 Tomcat, B-11, B-808 on that one. <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet. All right, we've cleared enough to get to the first tote. Let's see what's in there. Uh-oh, it's heavy too. Oh, that could be good. Please be like brass heavy. Then that's really good. All right, you guys ready? Ready to see what we got. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> oh. Wow, this is good. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Look at all them trains. This is like some of the bins we found before. Look at this. Lockheed. Lockheed Martin. It's a box car with a Lockheed. That's cool. $34. There's two of them. Inner Mountain, there's a little tank car. Boy, the sun's really beating down in here. I think we're probably gonna wrap this up pretty soon because I got a full load in the van and the sun's starting to get a little wonky on the filming here whoa look at all these genesis trains that's good that's good because i think that's atherin yeah atherin genesis atherin and then there's the intermountain not as good as atherin i think but still really good um, i mean still good sellers twenty dollars each right these are 25 so maybe they're kind of comparable pretty close to being comparable what else we got we got a little tricks right here Ooh, nice looks it looks like mostly tank cars and box cars those sell good so Look at them all, you guys. What the heck? How many are in here? I counted 54. I count 54 trains in here. 54. So at 20 bucks each, just let's say 20 bucks each, that's like 1200 bucks, right? I think it's, uh, no, well, whatever. 1100 bucks, a little bit under 1100. Not that 2500 total average that I was hoping for, right? When I was counting it before, but keep in mind that's from the aisle. I was counting it, uh, you know, trying to get an estimate on shelves, but I was saying 2500 average per tote, uh, 30,000 a shelf. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, Mm, these are probably worth a little bit more because there's two in each. Yeah, this will take our total down a little bit, but yeah, whatever. I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. All right, maybe we're going to grab one more. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. This stuff's so cool. I can't not help it. Yes. Oh, what's this? Marklin, these look nice. 2681. Mmm, that is so pretty. Wow. Got the clear cover there. That's cool. These are the same, these ones. Okay, those are cool. Alright, here's some Brawa. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Nice little display boxes. More Brawa. More Brawa. Roco. This is good stuff. Roco. Mm, this one's heavy. Let's see what's in here. Uh oh oh guys this could be good the last time we found a wood box that was that George Bush train and I have that listed for $27.50 um, <laughs> what is this Whoa. what is this I'll bet you that is gold right there gold plated I'll bet you 
Brahma. Whoa. Look at the little gold crown up there. I bet you that's gold plated right there. This is something special right here. There's a few extra parts. This little badge right here. I'm not sure where that goes, but that's uh, this is something special right here. Dur Salon Wagon. Mm. Wow, guys. Okay, check this out right here. 92. It's model number. Was that A74? I have a feeling this is something very special right here. We only saw one other one in a wood box like that, and that looks like that is going to be expensive. All right, I will do my best to research that and put it on the screen. That one's going home with me. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, what else we got? This is a good box. Okay, uh, 2660 Marklin. This is reminding me of some of the boxes we found earlier on. All right, nice. A little set, passenger car set, just like you see there. 2680, another passenger car set. Yep. These are probably 150 each, maybe more. You guys will know because I'll put it on the screen. Now, this right here, this could be good. Tricks, it's a full set, another passenger car set. Tricks 21215. Yep. Nice stuff. All right. Yeah. And then, last but most likely not least, are these markings right here because here's a locomotive. 2681. Oh wow, look at this. This might be something special too. This got some kind of special little booklet right here. That's that is beautiful. Do you see that? Whoa, this is mm, mm, mm. okay. <laughs> oh man, this is so fun, right? I know you guys are liking it. I've seen so many comments from people just saying that they're digging this train nut, non-train nut. Everybody seems to be enjoying this. 2681, that's a 2681 there, okay? So, um, yeah, this locker, this collection, I should say, exceptional, 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 and wow. Financial uh, windfall aside, I am just honored to have been able to be the one to buy this and to go through it with you guys. This is a blast. Absolute blast. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today. I... I mean, my van's not full full, but I have a pretty good load in there. I started with the Christmas tree, so <laughs> I didn't have a clean, uh, clear van to start with, but uh, got a lot of stuff out. I'm so happy we made, we cleared that aisle, and we're starting in the other aisle. It, it's going to help us get in there and kind of poke around, but usually what I do is I go front to back in the lockers. I just like the, the continuity of that, and I like how we chronicle the story as we go, you know? It, it, I just like that, but this one uh yeah we're having to change things up as we go there'll be reasons for that which i'll share with you guys soon enough but once again um you know i did share a little bit more of the details of the previous owner with you in this video and i hope you enjoyed that this one is just this one has been an adventure and the adventure from what i can see is going to continue for some time oh man i love it i love it i'm having so much fun i think you guys are too i know our videos are getting a lot of views and if again i've said it before but you guys know anybody who might like this sort of thing whether they like trains or die cast or models or planes or they just like a good old-fashioned treasure hunt please share the video with them right get the word out and um, tell other people to watch this of course it helps me but I know that a lot of people are really enjoying this and uh, this maybe is a once-in-a-lifetime find at least for me it might be I'm completely humbled that I've been given the opportunity to you know take over this collection and I must say I mean I'm I really do respect is respect this man for putting together something so impressive really i'm just very appreciative i really really am all right guys enough of that i will probably start getting emotional if i talk more about it you know my plan really was to edit tomorrow so i get this today's adventure out as soon as possible for you guys it takes me a long time to edit this stuff i might just have to be coming back here tomorrow because this is so much fun so much fun yeah what can i say but i don't know i got a full van what i do with that probably just shove it all in my garage and come back for some more i don't know i don't know all i do know is that the next video will be out soon whenever it is it'll be out soon all right until then good luck to you god bless you and we'll see you next time on locking nuts All right, guys, here's the update on sales for this locker. $5,900, a lot of money, and we're just getting started. But it hasn't really changed from the last episode because I'm putting these episodes out kind of close together in the last two. But included in that number is one big sale of $1,000 from one item on eBay, and that is that little Klein tractor. 